All right, welcome to episode two of The Dream. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have been getting game overs like crazy, and it's my fault. From the last episode, where we saved, I went up north, fought one enemy, easy, then I went farther north, and I ran into this dude, and I, <laughs> even stupider, I saved right in front of him, and this enemy chases you, so there's no getting away. <laughs> Let's jump into it. I'll explain even more. As you can see where I saved, he just runs right at you. I've tried getting away and I can't. But it's okay. We have a chance of winning. Actually, this is not looking too bad at all. So let me explain. The dude on the left, the balloon man, he has an attack that can put you to sleep and do damage at the same time. He's an absolute menace. Then there's one other variable to this battle. It's the TP meter. Uh, the TP meter is seemingly kind of random at the beginning of a battle. It doesn't like carry from the previous battle. So uh, we actually got lucky this time that both characters started off with a little TP to use. Sometimes they have like two and they can't do any special attacks. So we're in good shape this time. We might actually be able to win, but I've had so many battles where I'm missing or getting critted. It's been rough. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to use a strong right, and we're just going to gang up on the blue guy because he is the one that is making us lose. And I'm going to use a bull team because it's actually doing a lot of damage from previous attempts, and it goes first, which is pretty useful. Let's see what happens. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Let's go. Okay. Good damage. Shadow Beam. Should do... Ah, 24 is actually a decent amount. And then it's... Nice! Nice! That move slum is the one that can put you to sleep, but we got lucky you didn't get put to sleep. Oh, this could be the run. Let's go. <laughs> you have no idea how many game overs I've gotten. All right, Dergan, you have a bunch of TP, so hit that bat with a fire fist. And then Mr. Gia, Duel Buster, we gang up on the bat. If we kill him, then we're only doing one enemy. That's going to be easy. Oh my god, he looks like that. <sighs> That's annoying. All right, let's find him. All right, we've got two characters and they're both low on HP. They could both easily die to one hit from this enemy. So the thing about using items is you don't necessarily go first like other games. So uh, we're gonna have, since Gia is going first, we're gonna have him heal himself because he has less HP. And then I'm going to have Darigan heal himself as well. So as long as Darigan doesn't get, doesn't take 32 damage, nice. Just barely. All right, cool, cool. We are looking. Th this, this is actually crazy. I have lost so many times, so we are looking like we could possibly win. Let's go, come on! Oh my God, we actually did it! Please tell me we get like five level ups. Level three. Oh, just there again. Oh, I, I love that this game has the level up quotes. I've got to thank Les for helping me get this far. True that. You haven't even seen her yet in this game. Okay. You have no idea how stoked I am that we won that battle. <laughs> so I'm going to save real quick. And this time I'm going to save a different file in case I need to like re-record or something. But doubt I'm redoing that. All right. Let's see. So the last time I played this game, I did not know you could go up from where we saved at the end of the last episode. So right now I am genuinely exploring areas that I did not know even existed before. And there's even treasure chests. All right, so the enemy saw us, he's gonna chase us, but I mean, look at him, he doesn't look very strong. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know that was the balloon man. <laughs> Okay, and Derrickin's at 50 health, so this is dangerous. As you can see, the balloon people are faster than Derrickin, but Gia is faster than them, so... And I'm pretty sure Derrickin's the one that got the level up. Oh, no. All right. We're in this. Derrickin has enough uh, TP to go for one attack, and we're just going to go after balloon man A. And Gia will... He's got enough for a dual buster which I think can actually Oko if he hits both. So let's see. One, two, oh, we got a miss. It wouldn't have killed, but it would have been close. 17 damage. Okay, well, at least Dragon lived. Oh, we don't have enough to do uh, 
a dual buster, but that's fine because a bolting should be able to kill this one balloon and hopefully we can deal with one other balloon. Please. These guys are absolutely messy. Well, dude, okay, Derek and woke up. Uh, Gia's not going to be able to move this turn. <laughs> and the balloon is probably going to kill us. We're going to use a potion on Derrigan. Nice. nice. Okay, we got a potion off. No matter what, we are getting at least one attack off. So, uh, Fire Fist, because we are not looking around in Dual Buster. Come on. Do not miss Derrigan. Do not miss Derrigan. Oh my god. It's fine, because do a normal attack and then a bolting with Gia. But this first. Oh my no dude. No no. And Derrigan fell asleep. Let's try this again. Just have to hit Oh, there's a crit. There's a crit. Yeah, right when we needed it. Jeez. Gia's level four. Alright, let's go. That's pretty good. Just you wait. Alright. We are going through it so far, but you know what? With our tactics, we can make this work. We're going to use a potion on Gia because I'm not starting a battle coming up in such bad shape. Super honey, nice. And iron ring. And so yeah, this is all stuff I didn't see the first time I played this game. So we go to our items and let's see. Iron Ring gives you plus two defense, so why don't we equip it to someone? No point not using it. Uh, we'll give it to Derrigan because he's a, I guess because he's a lower level and could probably use the plus defense. Alright, let's keep moving. Get out of this little maze here. And we've got uh, a lot of areas left to explore just up here. And so once again, I. I missed this entire area last time I played. I played this game twice. Dream Shield, sick. All right, well, when it comes to items, man, gotta use them, so. Uh, let's equip. I guess I'll give this to, okay, Dream Shield, oh, Shield, duh. Dream Shield gives you plus 15 HP, sick. I will definitely take that. Okay, sorry about that. And down we go. I should save, but you know, we're going for it. And uh, so I went up earlier. Let's try checking out the right area. I will say, you know, having played this game before, there it is important that you try to defeat the monsters <laughs> when you see them. Approach the ledge below to jump to the other side. All right, let's try. Okay, sick. Uh, I will definitely be coming back for that monster. Oh gosh, balloon man. Oh, maybe I should have saved. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, TP Derrigan has not enough to do anything, so we're relying on you, Gia. And uh, Dual Buster, let's see. I mean, you level up. Maybe you can kill him in one hit, right? Boom. Nope, nope, nope. If you miss twice. Oh my god, we're really about to. <laughs> No, we're really about to lose, and I'm going to go back to my last save. <laughs> this, this is not happening. No, 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 no. Derrigan didn't get any TP, so he still can't do any of his good attacks. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, and I'm going to get put to sleep here. I'm telling you, these balloon guys are immense. See, I, I can't do anything this entire turn. I'm still asleep. The both characters are still asleep, dude. No. Oh my god. Okay. Both are awake. I need to use a potion. <laughs> oh, okay. I, yeah, I had a music box to cure sleep, except I didn't have a turn to use it. And I have one, I have one potion. All right, we're going to use it on Gia. And Gia is going to attack with a dual buster and please just get a crit or don't miss. We missed. We missed. And that potion got used on Derrigan himself. So, okay. Important 
all hope is not necessarily lost. Um, now the question is, will a strong right be enough to kill the blue man? And I'm scared that it's not enough. So I'm going to use up a bunch of TP to just try to kill one blue man. Assuming that I'm even awake. Please. Yes. No. I woke up from the attack but didn't get my turn. Okay. We have Super Honey, which can revive an ally. And luckily we're able to go first. So, dude, we, we had to. She immediately gets put back to sleep, dude. Oh my god. Fire Fist. If we get this Fire Fist off, I mean, having Derek, having Derek in the life, come on, come on. There, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. okay. We, we actually have a chance. We have enough TP to do another Fire Fist. If I don't fall asleep here, we can... Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that we won that battle. Oh, Derek is a little fun. <laughs> God, you have no idea how threatening those <laughs> freaking balloons are. Dizzy Magic Cat X and Life Ring. Okay, um, so let's learn our lesson, right? Let's apply these items. Uh, he's got the Iron Ring, so I'll put the Life Ring that we just got. Let's see what that does. Grants 7 HP regen. Okay, absolutely. We'll take that. And then uh, we got the Magic Cat, which Dizzy. Slightly advanced Magic Cat that has a small chance to confuse. And, oh, great, and it's stronger. Okay, so we got a better weapon for Darigan already. And we are going to save. I'm gonna, I'm gladly gonna save. Put it over file two. Oh, baby. That's the baby in the background. Please don't mind her. All right. Let me check where we are on time and see if we can do a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, we got a few more minutes for sure. All right, let's keep going. Let's battle this enemy down here. We saved, so <laughs> not too worried about that. Oh, yeah, two enemies. We, we've already went over like the Elite Four level villains. Uh, don't have enough TP to do anything crazy, so let's just attack and uh, bolting should be good against the business bat. But if I hit both attacks, it, it, sh it should go down. Oh yeah, we are pretty low on health. And I'm gonna make that with potions, okay. I gotta still play smart. Uh, there's not really much I can do besides attack though. Uh, yeah, but we, we would go before the Shadow Employee, so as long as we hit, and we do. Okay, we're good. Yeah, Fire Fist is plenty. Oh, and we got two potions. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's use those potions before I am filled with regret, and we're good to go. Okay, great. Cleared out this right area, and I think we just need to check out this left area, and then we'll have done all of the top. Let's see. Oh, oh, there's a conversation going on above. I, I actually don't want to start the battle so I can see it. Dude, where is this coming from? Come on, Jay. You're not a bad looking guy. I know he's got some lady luck. Oh, he thinks G is cute. Care less about that kind of stuff. Dude, this is stuff I didn't know about the character. This is awesome. So th this is such a cool part of this game, is the characters interacting. Oh man, if you paid attention to the Void Part 1, which you could find on Chris Mason's YouTube channel, that was a reference right there. Ah, oh, and it was so good. Alright, let's do some battling. Easy peasy. If there's no balloon guy, we got this. Strong right, this bad boy. No problem. We get hit with like one shadow beam. We can take that because we got our potions before. No problem. Oh, yes. Good dodge. 
getting up on this guy, and as long as we hit our attacks, we're going to be good to go if we get that treasure chest over there. After I clear out the other bat guy in this area, uh, I think that's where we can call this episode. Lucky blade. Okay, cool. Um, I assume that weapon will be for someone who uses blades. Um, here we got a bat. Cool. Easy peasy. Strong right. Bolting. Let's kill this guy. Man, it is a huge relief <laughs> to have gotten through those balloon enemies first. And now that we're actually strong, we can just tear through these other enemies. Fire Fist, Dual Buster, you are toast. Nice, don't even need the Fire Fist. And we got the GA to level 5 too. Let's keep this up. Oh, cool, there's another treasure, ch another treasure chest. Steel Gauntlet, that sounds like a new enemy or, sorry, new a uh, weapon for Gia. It uh, gives you minus one defense, but plus three attack. That's, that's a deal. <laughs> if I can kill enemies before they can attack me, that's a deal. Alright, and uh, oh, sweet, 100 gold. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Oh, look at those go. Interesting, it took us all the way back. And I didn't even see this treasure chest, so that's a good thing. Swing ring. Okay, so this explains a lot. The first time I played the game, <laughs> the guys talked about how there's two swing rings in the game, and I never found the second one. It's because I never came up to this area. All right, so we finished this whole top area, and as you'll see, this is where we saved last time, and this is where we're going to save again and end the episode. So let's save and... Um, Starting next episode will be <laughs> an area that I have played before. And when we go down below south uh, is where we're going to get some story progression. So look forward to that episode. I'm already having so much fun playing this game. I might record another episode right after this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, catch you next time.